First of all, it is December 19th, and I cannot believe it's already freaking almost time for Christmas, which is wild. Um, but what I want to do is I want to create a system that is universal, that everybody is under the same colors, has the same system, and then you reproduce this yourself with other working coaches, okay? Now, this is going to be really important. Even while you're getting this in order, you can share this on your social media because there are people that very well may, go put in the laundry room, that very well may want to coach, but they have no idea that they can add in one more thing, right? So it's not so much showing them the step-by-step, -step, but I'm going to do a post tomorrow that kind of corresponds with that. So be on the lookout for my post tomorrow with the Brilliant Life Planner book. Yeah. But this goes to the trash? Not in the trash. It goes in the dirty laundry. Okay. In my bathroom. Nice butt. Okay. All right. So <laughs> here's what's going to happen. Now, everybody who is a working coach, every month, starting in January, we, now, Team Rise and Shine, you're going to have two coaching opportunities a month to invite to. Okay. It's not dirty. You can lay them on the lay them on the tub. Okay? okay. And Ryan's coming up. Ryan, are you coming up? Okay. Kenzie will need your help. Um, so what's gonna happen is this. Um, you'll have Team Rise and Shine, which is gonna be a coaching opportunity, and then we're gonna have ours. Okay. Okay, let's go, Patty. Do you need help? Yeah. Give me one second. No, you're fine. No, go, go. Ryan, I need help, Bobby. Are you cleaning up the kitchen? Yes. Okay. Thank you. Right now, yeah. Come on, pop up and come in. Okay. Love you. Ryan, she needs a pull-up and her pajama sweet pea. I need some help. I cannot do it. I know. You're nine, but whatever. Whatever. Okay, so let's get back to the knit and grit. Now, what we're going to do is there's a system, and we're gonna. this is going to be in place, and you don't have to recreate the wheel. You stick to this like glue. Your number one focus is to just, this is administrative work, okay? The real work, the real meat and potatoes is, having those relationships, okay? Being genuine, coming from your heart. And any way you can help somebody, literally guys, your list should be not only success club, but it should also be, did I, did I sell a cookbook? Did I sell Energize? Did I, um, you know, help somebody set up their Beachbody On Demand for three months? Anything like that. And if you have another person's account, by the way, Put that in your other person's account, all right? So if somebody buys a cookbook, I'm putting it in John's. If somebody is buying um, a one-time thing of Energize, I'm putting it in John's, okay? That accrues volume. That accrues the money, okay? That's what I want for you guys to make sure you keep getting that money that you want to see that income progression. So we have to start being really smart and thinking strategically. It's not just about helping three people, but how are you helping three people, right? So that's going to be another call. So just put that on your back burner. But for me, what I'm doing is I'm going to try to help. I'm, try, I'm going to try to do success club on both of my, my legs. So that means I have to help six people. And then anything extra I put into John's account. That's my goal. I strongly suggest that's your goal too. If we all have the same exact goal, then we're all pushing hard. So that means you're going to have a monthly goal starting in January of Success Club 12, non-negotiable. And then three on yours, three on hubbies, whoever, and then anything extra on that other account. Make sense? Perfect. Hey, Ryan, no, no, pull up on, your dad's on his way home. So get ready. Um, okay, so 
I want you to take your blue highlighter and I want you to go to the 15th of every month and I want you to write on there on the 15th, your success club goal, whatever it is. So it's SC12 for you guys, okay? So you're gonna write on every 15th of every month for the whole entire year, you are writing SC12 goal date. Therefore, you know you are working to a date. You have to meet the deadline, right? So rather than getting worried, you know I gotta grind by the 15th period it makes it so much easier so you're gonna highlight that in blue so you see that in your book okay now the other things that i want you guys to do now blue is going to kind of represent i'm gonna show up no matter what that's the color that i'm thinking with blue okay now on sundays i have on my planner i have the team workouts at 11 o'clock in the morning and the planning party at 12 o'clock. Those are in blue because I am showing up every day. I recommend the more that you can show up to those things. I'm not saying, I'm never going to say it's mandatory because I can't make you do anything. Okay. But what I am going to say to you is this, the more you show up to more things, the more you stay engaged, the more energy you produce, you're going to be running bigger groups too one day, so you might as well get ready. That's how I see it, okay? You're going to go into team calls, guys, and you're going to have one person or no people you're talking to. But guess what? You get to practice as if you were talking amongst thousands, okay? So nothing is a negative. It's just a positive and a way to grow your wings, period. So I'm highlighting in blue the team workout at 11 and the planning party at 12, because I got to show up to those things no matter what, okay? Now, if you cannot make it for whatever reason, be accountable and go in the message thread and just say, hey guys, I'm unable to make it, because I will be kind of blunt. When people just ignore, I just think it's just so, I think it's kind of not rude to me, but rude to your business, rude mm -hmm. to the potential of your growth, rude to the potential of your worth, you know, and, and don't, like I, when, when people ignore, they, it's almost like they're shying away. And I don't want you to shy away as a person. This is not about me saying, oh, if I, well, Stacy wants me to chime in. No, don't think like that. It is, I have to chime in for my business. I might be really embarrassed or shy right now to chime in, but I got to conquer that fear in order to be a great businesswoman. So I got to hold my accountability and just claim your stuff. That's all I'm asking. Be responsible. That's all it is. Show up for your business. That's not for me. It's for your business. Okay. No, I overslept the last two Sundays. Oh, <laughs> it's all good. <laughs> it's all good. And remember, like I said, I, it's not me saying you have to come. It's yeah, for no. you, for your business, yes. for it to grow. That's all it is. All right. So <laughs> I know. All right. So here's what we're going to do. Now, every month, you do need to be doing a free group. Okay, you got to do a free group. And honestly, make them seven day groups. Don't go any more than seven days. Now, here's where I want you to do your free group. We're all going to be on the same page because then we can all talk about what's going on in our free groups. How's your free group going? What are you doing, Sharona? What are you doing, Danielle? What are you doing, Tiffany? And that will also help other future coaches go, God, well, I'm not doing a group and everybody else is chiming in. It's a chain reaction. If we're all doing it together, it'll motivate the next person to be like, all right, I got to get on the train. Five girls are doing it. I'm not doing it. I got to start getting on this train. Okay. So on the week, okay, for example, we're going to use January 7th. Okay. January 7th through January, I say Monday through Friday. Okay. January 11th. 7 through 11 of January, you're inviting to both. You're inviting to your challenge group. We're talking free groups right now. Invite to free group, okay? Invite to free group, January 7 through 11. Now, before you start inviting on the 7th, you go to your Saturday or Sunday, whichever one you decide, which would be the 5th or the 6th, and that's your cue right there that you are going to create an invite page. Okay, so that's where you have to go to your Facebook events and create your public invitation. Because think about it like this. 
you have to give people that link for the invite, okay? And no matter what you do, you grab those emails. Great, let me, let me, I'll be giving you the, the Facebook group via email. I'll send you the link through email. Some people might say, well, I don't have email. That's fine. You can send it through regular, but grab the email. That is your, if that is the one thing you do, you grab emails like it's your business. Can I have your email? Can I have your email? Because if Facebook shuts down, your business is gone. And I also recommend you putting your emails in a backup. So like I'm actually transferring from Teamsy to Google Streak right now. It's a big, tall order and it's a big task, but I watched Melanie Mitro's Google Street class and I'm really liking how it's going to help when it gets to be really big. And it's a click, 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 send. Like that's what I need. I need to be able to send out 500 emails in five minutes, right? That's what I need. I need to send out 400 invitations, I'm saying down the road, in 10 minutes, right? So we got to think about that too. Like, is what I have going to be good enough for when it gets really big, right? So I'm not going to use Teams anymore, even though I just freaking paid for the yearly re, re, um, renewal, but I don't care. I still have my emails in there. It's fine. It, it's still of good use. So it's another backup. That's how I see it right now. Okay. Mm -hmm. But for now, uh, January 7 through 11, that's when you're inviting to your seven day free challenge group, okay? So you gotta start mapping out right now, the, the next three months, what are my three free challenge groups? What are those seven day free challenge groups? Jumping Jack January could be another one. Muscle March, Sweetheart Cardio, okay? Think of those things, be creative about it, okay? But I would map out the next three months so then you're not worried and then when, um, February comes, you, you map out uh, March, April, May, June. Okay, see what I'm saying? So then you're always ahead. You're always ahead. You're always ahead, right? So January 14th through January 20th is seven days. That is your seven-day free challenge group dates, okay? So that's what everybody's going to do collectively, all right? So we know we're inviting from 7th to, you can do either the 11th or 12th, whatever you want to do, but you might need some time to like prep your group. But then the seven day challenge will be on the 14th through the 20th. All right. So you're going to start seeing a pattern here. Those colors, the free invites, the free groups, orange, make it orange. All right. Now moving on to inviting to your, uh, we're gonna do challenge groups because January is a little funny here um, and I'll talk to you and then we'll get into February really quick and then you'll see the pattern, okay? So January 1st, okay, through January, I wanna say through January 13th, you wanna be inviting to your challenge group. All right, now you guys know our challenge group invites are always the last Monday of the month. That's when you're like, hey, do you wanna to come to my January challenge group? It's, a, it's an it's a open community, it's year round. Um, my challenge group for January, now here's the name of the challenge group, you can call it this, you guys, New Year, New You. My New Year, New You challenge group is forming at the end of January. Here's where the 15th ties in. If you're inviting the first through the 14th, you should hit Success Club by the 15th. Get it? See that flow? Do you see how that is? You're gonna also highlight invites to challenge groups with green. Green is your color. All right. So the first, so the first through the 14th, talk about just challenge groups all week long and sprinkle some coaching if you want, okay? But then when the 15th hits, Talk about coaching for the rest of the month on your Facebook page. Um, this is We're recreating the wheel here, okay? Okay, go up there. Ryan, help Kenzie. So when the 15th hits, you're going to change your wheels a little bit, and you're going to start talking about what challenge a coaching has provided for you, what it's inspired you to do. And let me just tell you a little secret. 
It has nothing different than a challenge group, okay? It's just the name is different, okay? Hold on one second, guys. Hello? Okay. All right. So on the 15th, we change our gears. Okay. Now, remember, I told you a little while ago, we were doing like, you know, focus on challenge groups, do this, do coaching, da, 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 da. I think breaking it up half of the month, half of the month, I'm trying to make this so easy that it's just, it's more manageable. Okay. That's my goal. So starting on the 15th, you should already have hit success club. You've already been inviting to your challenge groups. Boom, you're done. Now, some of those invites, you're going to have to follow back on because they're going to be no's, right? They might be ready for February, okay? So it's just the cycle, all right? But you're always still friends with people. And when people say no, give them value back, okay? Whatever it may be, maybe a holiday tip, maybe, um, I don't know, a recipe, okay? You can buy, you can order those things from that Danielle girl and say, you know what? Why don't you send me your email if you didn't get it already? Send me your email and I'd love to give you a free recipe. But also too, guys, this is where your applications are coming in. If you're inviting to a challenge group and you say, hey, Sharona, it's Stace. Um, I really wanted to invite you into my new year, new you challenge group. Are you interested? Sharona messages me back and Sharona goes, yes, I am. Great. This is me. Send me your email and I will send you the application to fill out. That's how it needs to be all the time. And that's where I'm going right now because I got to be super organized because if we're going to go like elite or one star or two star or five star, we've got to be so organized that we're, we're robotic. Like we just got it down and we're all the same. So if someone fumbles, you go, whoa, 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 Stace, or whoa, whoa, Sharona, I got you. Remember, it's this, right? We have to stay literally chained up together, linked up together. So no, if somebody breaks the link, we help them get back onto the link. Make sense? All right. So what's going to happen is now on the 15th, you're changing your gear. You're sending the application out to people. When there's a new launch, you make another application and change the wording. Transform 20, right? Um, autumn, second 80-day obsession, whatever it is, right? That's your new application to send. Da, 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 da. And you want to because you need that information. You want to vibe off of emails. So you have emails and then you can just kind of comment on their pages here and there on Facebook. So then that's all you're doing. Because here's the thing, Messenger is a pain in the ass. It's too security locked. And if you want to send out 100 invites, you're really screwed to do it. You can't, it'll pop up as spam and it sucks, right? So we got to, I don't, we don't want to be spending eight hours at home trying to do all this. So that's my job. That's our job. That's our goal. Okay. So we have to kind of get ourselves set up for all of that. Cause I don't want to stay up late nights. I just don't want to do that anymore. I don't mind it all the time once in a while, but I don't want to make that my regular thing. Okay. So the 15th you're hitting success club and you're done. Right. So the rest of the time you're, you're inviting to the coaching opportunity. Right. So what's going to happen is on the 15th, I am going to create our coaching opportunity on Facebook, okay? And I'm going to make all of you who are all the coaches admins. So while you're inviting, while you're inviting to the coaching opportunity, well, hold on here, wait, you're going to, you start inviting, you can start talking about it, you know, like the 15th, 16th, 17th, 18th, 19th, invite maybe more to challenge groups a little bit more. But when the 21st hits, that's what I would do. I'm changing it. I'm changing it. Listen. Okay. So the 7th, the week of the 7th, the week of the 14th. Let's see here. Hold on. Wait. Hold on. Make sure I get this right. Okay. Mm -hmm. January is a little funny, but I'm going to get into March. Okay. So... Okay. Okay, hold on. Challenge group, challenge group. Challenge group, you should also invite the 14th through the, the week of the 14th. Then the week of the 21st, you want to invite to the coaching opportunity because 
our coaching opportunity is always going to be the first Monday, Tuesday, and Wednesday of every single month. Okay. So the first Monday of the month, that is day one of our coaching opportunity. It's going to be a three day sneak peek. And I have no idea how it's going to run. I don't even know what it's going to look like right now. I have the file, but I'm going to just do it and I'm just going to perfect it later. I don't care. I just have, I can't figure out the house. I just have to get into it and do it. Right. So that's what we're going to do. So now the coaching opportunities are in pink. All right. So you got challenge group in green, coaching in pink, free group in orange, and your goals and your have tos, and that also includes your your weekly meeting in blue. Okay. So let's do let's do March so you can see it a little bit better, and then you can start seeing the flow. All right. So we're gonna go back to January really quickly. January and February. February starts on the on a Friday. Okay. It starts on Friday. So January 21st through January, really the 31st, or you can even do up until the first, that you're inviting to the coaching opportunity. Because if you go into February, you're going to see that on the 4th, 5th, and 6th, that is our, that's our opportunity. So you have to invite a week, pretty much a week to two weeks out. That's where your invite your heart out paper is going to come in. You turn to that invite your heart out paper and you invite your heart out. If you can get 50, 50 invites in two days, go do it. Okay. If you can only get five, rock on for your five. If you can only get two, that's great. It's better than none. All right. So here we go. Now you're going to see Jan um, February 4th that week, you're inviting to what? your free group because January 11th or March or February 11th is your seven day challenge group. Okay. Start seeing the pattern. You can start seeing that you'll start seeing the pattern, especially with the colors. Okay. So you have your free group. You're going to invite to your free group on the, the week of the fourth, just that week. And honestly, don't just invite to the free group. Invite to the challenge group and a free group. Give them the option. You need to. Ryan, can you put Kenzie on the potty, please? She did already. Well, she needs to go again. All right, so that's that. And then what's going to happen is, remember, your goal date is the 15th, which is a Friday of Success Club 12. Okay? Now, I'm going to clean out on the 17th our coaching opportunity page. I'm going to clear it out as if nothing was there. Okay. I'm still going to leave those people that are in that group. I'm going to leave them in there. I'm not taking them out because some people may not have seen it. They may have forgotten about it, whatever. They stay in there. Keep adding new people. Keep adding new people. Okay. That's how it's going to work. Um, so then you have your free group, the, the week of the 11th, make it a seven day. All right. So then you should be inviting your to your challenge group February 1st. Yes, the week of the 4th and the week of the 11th. Got it? The week of the 18th and going into the last week of February, you're inviting to the next coaching opportunity. That's in pink. Do you guys, when you put the colors, you're going to see the pattern, okay? And then you're going to realize that your next coaching opportunity, let's go to March, is going to be when? Mar it's the first Monday of the month. So that is what? March 4, 5, 6. Okay? So you're going to start seeing these patterns, okay? So stick with that. Hopefully that all makes sense. And when you have the Brilliant Life Planner, it's going to look like this. Come on. Okay. So I have it. All right. You're going to see. So now you just follow the grid. You follow it. Okay. You're like, all right, great. Now I know on the 18th, I am all about coaching. I am going to talk about coaching. I'm going to talk about my regular life. I'm going to invite to the coaching opportunity. I'm doing nothing more. That's all I'm doing. You can sprinkle your challenge group if you haven't hit success club yet. 
or you haven't made any leads, you need to focus on that. Okay. So that means you might have to do both, but that's something that you have to make that decision. I can't, that's something is that I can't control that. So that's what you're going to have to think strategically. You'll go, okay, well, I did it. I need one more person. So I need to be inviting to both. I need to be inviting to both. It's not just challenge group. Just go, I need to invite to both. That's what I need to do. Okay. That's super, super, super important. Um, and that's it. So uh, February 25th. You can be inviting, that's our, that's our challenge group, and you can call it when you're inviting for people, you say, Forever Fit. My next challenge group for February is called Forever Fit. If you're, you know, happy or interested, let me know. That's how you're going to present that, okay? So now you have the challenge group for January, right? New year, new you starts on January 28th, but you want to get them in before the 15th because they need time for their box to arrive. You need time to get their binders set up. See what I'm saying? So you need those two weeks, but then they kick butt, right? So yeah. does this all make sense? Does everybody understand? And if you don't, you have to watch the replay or we can do another one-on-one -on -one call. It's totally fine. Um, but that's how I think it needs to work universally because when you're in a free group, we can talk about our free groups. We can share our ideas on the free group. You guys don't have to construct a challenge group. We have that down. It's done. So that is good. Danielle and I plan the months. If anybody wants to be on the planning committee for cha the, our challenge group, let me know in Gold Diggers. But I'm not going to make anybody. But if you want to be part of that and you want to start actually maybe taking over. Like maybe you want to post for the month and let Danielle have a break. Or maybe you want to be the person that goes live once a week and shares the value. The more of us that get in there, your people have to see you. Whether they are in there or not, you got to practice that. So that's why you got to do all of those things. The other thing that I want you guys to really start doing is going live on your Facebook pages at least once a week. We've <laughs> talked about it. It's so scary. I know, but we got to eat that frog. And what that means is you do that very thing first and get it over with and then move forward. And for a lot of people, what's really scary is inviting. And mm -hmm. so what are you more scared of? Are you more scared of inviting to the coaching opportunity or a challenge group? If you're, in, if you're scared about a coaching opportunity, invite get it over with, move forward. You can, um, I, I'll go and share live in the group in during the month of January to start getting used to it. Yep, that's great. Yep, absolutely. Um, so whatever you want to do, I know Danielle has been, um, she's been posting for a while. Yeah. Um, if you want to, if you want to take over posting, I think that actually would be a great place for you to start. Okay. Because, um, that's going to keep you consistent. That's going to keep you consistent yeah. and, and fresh with ideas. So starting in January, um, what you might want to do is you want to message Danielle privately and just say, Hey girl, in the month of January, I'm taking over your daily posting for the month of January. And then maybe for now you two can flip flop. And then if you want, I can be the one that goes live sharing some stuff to pop in that way. And if you guys want to pop in once a week, you pop in once a week and then I will make sure I pop in once a day. Okay. Yeah. And I'll, I'll um, see if she can um, just give me some tips because she's, yeah. she's really good at doing the post. She's things, really so, good at it. And Pinterest will be your best friend and okay. don't overthink things. So what you'll want to do with Danielle is you'll probably need to have a zoom call or whatever and just say, tell me what you do. Da, 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 da. And then what Danielle real and I, what we really do is I call her and I go, okay, this is what we should do. We should do blah, 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 blah. And then she writes it down and then we collaborate and then it's done. So if you two want to collaborate, and we could all collaborate if we wanted to. We could get on, on a quick Zoom before January. We okay. should do that. Okay. So let's, if we want to, why don't we, let, let's do that for next Wednesday night's call. 
Okay. Let's talk challenge group for next Wednesday night call. But in the meantime, does this all make sense? Do, do you see the pattern? Does that, yep. do you understand where you should be inviting? And now you have your free group and where your success club should be. That is now a duplicatable system for your next person to come in. You master it first, get ahead of the game. So now we're just going to do challenge group week one, two coaching week three, four. And you do that every month and you have your free group and you're inviting to our coaching opportunity. The coaching opportunity is already done. Everything's done. You just have to not be scared to invite. And, 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 I, and I say this nicely because other people are going to see it, see it, get over it, get over it, get over it because it's not going to help you grow your business. It's, it's going to keep you stagnant because that's why people don't even start their business is because they're so afraid of an invite that it, it petrifies them that they stand away. So don't stand away. If you're giving value on your Facebook page and people know that I can tell you right now, they'll never be annoyed. You might get one or two, but they will most likely never be annoyed because they're like, wow, she always shares from her heart. Wow. She always gives value on her Facebook page. They have no room to be mad at you. Yeah. Do you see how that works? Do you see mm -hmm. why the Facebook page is so important now? So you just put your head down. And the other thing that I'm doing too is Google uh, Docs. The night before, I'm writing out all of my posts, and then I just have, and then I just do pictures in the morning. That way, I don't even have to think about anything. Yeah. So okay. it makes it a lot. And here's the thing too: you want to do your posts. You want to do your posts when you have a fresh idea like your fresh head. You know what I mean? Like, like don't do it when you're tired as crap and it's all midnight. You're like, I got to think of my post. You <laughs> need to be at your peak. So for me, my peak to write my post really is kind of like midday. So I go on Google docs and I just write out three posts or two posts and I write. And then 10 minutes before I copy and I paste it onto my, my Facebook page, put some emojis, hit send, then I go to my cell phone and I click edit and I put my picture back in there and I hit send. Boom, done. Yeah. Get into that pattern too. Get into that pattern too because if we just build ourselves right now and put our heads down, master this, but don't, this is just, this is all an administrative call, right? Mm -hmm. The rest is what we got to do, which is the, is the heart. That's the heart. You know what I mean? So I have a question. That document yeah. that you had on our um, our thread, did Danielle make that for you yet? Or was that like your template or? She made it for me, yeah. So is she, yeah. is she can we order one of those for us for down the road to like hang on to? Yeah, she, yeah, you can order one from her. Yep, yep. Okay. Yep, you certainly can. Yep, absolutely. But for now, but for now, you can just use it for know? us. Yeah, make one. And if you, I mean, here's the thing. If we just, for now, just seriously do a group one and you're like, this is my upline, but it really is all of us. Yeah. It doesn't really matter. It, it really, I mean, yes, if you want to do it down the road, absolutely. You got to okay. do what you got to do. It's your business. But for now, I wouldn't sweat it. Okay. I wouldn't no, I sweat like it. it. We have our challenge group. Oh, last. And then we're going to hang up. Um, starting in January, you guys saw the Google doc and it has all of our names on it. Okay, this is going to be our weekly, I'm owning my stuff yeah. because people need to show up. I know for me that if I have to chime in and I got five other people, I'm probably going to make sure that I do my follow-ups instead of go, I'll do them tomorrow. And then tomorrow doesn't happen. Okay. Yeah. So what's going to happen is this, um, um, Sunday morning or Saturday night in Gold Diggers. I am going to, and we all got to get into these new habits. Saturday night, I'm going to just post that Google, that Google sheet. And you guys saw it and you saw the example, right? So then you're going to take your business activity tracker and Sunday by noon, you're just going to tally everything up and you're going to post your numbers. You're going to post how many, how many invites you did, how many follow-ups you did. That, uh, did you have success club that week? So we can see. And then what happens is, now you owned it, which is cool. Number two, then you can go, oh, wow, like so-and-so's doing 10 and I only did five. 
I'm doing 10 next week and I'm matching her. Mm -hmm. It yep. all will help us to go. To, it's, it's like this. We're just a robot and we're just going to do it together. So it really does help because if you go, God, I didn't realize like, I've only been doing whatever. I need to step up my game or whatever it is, you know, whatever it is. I watched a video today uh, with Beachbody Champions and I will, um, I love that. I, I, that's my personal development sometimes. And I'm taking one thing each and I'm trying to implement it. But what's so freaking cool is that she was talking about, she's like, I went from a diamond to a five-star elite in one year. So here's the thing that I can tell you that I know about Beachbody. It is not a business where you are emerald, ruby, diamond, one, two, three. It's not that. One girl went from emerald coach to seven star elite in a year. How she did it, and you gotta go to Beachbody Champions and listen to these people. They're no different than us. You know what the, you know what the, the difference is? Energy, consistency. That's it. That's all I hear. It's, it's so repetitive, it makes me wanna vomit. They don't, there's, we're not gonna listen to anything new. Nothing's gonna be new. It's you have to do. That's the trick. Mm -hmm. And it is the compound effect. It's those little things that we do every single day. It's going to boom, 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 boom. It'll show its fruits later. You know what I mean? Yeah. That's how it will work, you know, and we just have to be patient and we have to be together. And this is a crock pot business. It's not an Instapot. Okay. What's the difference? An Instapot means you're going to get that food in seven minutes or less, right? A crock pot goes all day long, sometimes into the night for those delicious dinners, right? You throw it in there, you don't care. You come back to it, you stir it. You might come back and put a little salt in it, a little pepper into it. That's the love. That's the love. So you are in a crock pot business. You're not an Instapot. And I love that analogy. And I write and write that down. You just say, I'm in a crock pot business because you are, it's slow and steady and so much sweeter over time. <laughs> That's all right. Yeah. So That's remind funny. yourselves of that. And that can even be a post you guys. And, and I'm going to say this too. I want you guys to be very specific on what you want when you're doing coaching opportunities. If you don't ask on Facebook for what you want, you're not going to receive it. For example, I have to say, I'm looking for five women who are willing to work hard, who are willing to have a couple late nights, who are willing to put in the extra work, who want to make their part-time job maybe a potential six-figure earning job. I'm looking for people that will not quit on themselves. I'm looking for people that don't need their hand held, but a high five instead. Be specific because if you're not, you're going to get some people that we've had in the past. And that was because I wasn't specific. Remember that. Okay. So I hope this call helped. It is recorded. I'm going to actually convert it and I'm going to put it into um, gold diggers and I'm going to put it into everybody's thread because I need everybody to watch this before the new year. So you guys are all on track. Now I'm going to take this right now for February. And if you want to, you can screenshot this really quickly so you can see it. All right. If you screenshot it with your cell phone, then you're going to be able to see everything and you can zoom in and watch and follow just that. All right. Okay. So take a screenshot of that. And this is what we're going to follow every single month. There is no recreating the wheel. We're all together and we're all united. And you're going to teach your other coaches this too. And the other thing that I want you guys to do is I want you guys, I want you guys to be a hundred percent in this challenge group. I cannot stress to you enough that I want you to be 100% in this challenge group, meaning I want you to show up every day for your health and your wellness. 
And then I want you to cheer some people on because we have to lead the group. We have to wear our white head bandanas on Saturday. We have to do the hashtags. If we forget, we can remind each other. But if we are not setting that level of expectation, it doesn't follow suit. And we have to produce people with results. And if they don't get results, then it was on them because we're showing up. And I want you guys to be good on your health game. I want you to pick a program and work it from start to finish. That's your first job as an employee. How cool is that? Okay? And just share the journey. That's it. That's it. All right? So I'm going to leave you guys with that. Um, I love this. I love this. I feel very good about how we're creating this flow. I feel very good about how we're going to go... Right now, you guys, just so you know, it's not, I'm going to start out of the gate January 1st perfectly. I'm starting the gate now because when January 1st hits, you want to be on your money train. Do you see what I'm trying to say? So now, now is the time. It's not January 1st. It's December 19th. Okay. All right. So with that said, have a great night. I love you. I went 13 minutes over, but you know, not too shabby. And I'll talk to you guys later. All right. Bye. Love you. Bye.